Neuralink's groundbreaking brain implant trials receive FDA approval and funding boost. In a groundbreaking development for the field of brain-computer interfaces, the United States Food and Drug Administration FDA, has given its approval for Neuralink, the brain implant company founded by Elon Musk, to initiate its first-ever clinical human trial. This pivotal moment marks a significant milestone, not only for Neuralink, but also for the entire field of neuroscience and BCIs, which have been in development since the 1990s. Neuralink's Ambitious Vision Neuralink, established by Elon Musk in 2016, has set out on an audacious mission to cure brain diseases, reverse spinal cord injuries, and correct various disabilities connected with eyesight and paralysis through the development of cutting-edge brain-computer interfaces (BCI). Their vision extends even further, with aspirations to create interferences between the human brain and artificial superintelligence. Ah, what a time to be in, right? But all this is in an effort to safeguard against potential dystopian scenarios by matching human cognitive capabilities with those of robots, for example. But more about it later. The long-awaited FDA approval. Long and highly anticipated FDA approval. Expediting to human trials faced numerous delays and uncertainties due to implantation readiness tests on animals like pigs and monkeys, which even led to federal investigations. Musk repeatedly promised human trials on many occasions, and the FDA's recent approval came as a surprise to many, considering earlier reports suggesting FDA rejection. And to be fair, Neuralink's extensive research and experimentation to reach the stage of human implementation were needed, and the recent FDA green light signifies a turning point for Neuralink. The path forward for Neuralink However, even with FDA approval, it is not an immediate signal to start implanting brain devices. While specific details about the clinical study remain undisclosed, it is expected to involve up to 10 patients carefully selected based on their physical disabilities or illnesses. Volunteers can register through Neuralink's website to participate in the trials. The primary goal is to enable individuals with full-body paralysis to control electronic devices using only their thoughts a concept demonstrated successfully in animal testing with macaque monkeys. And while patients can improve their current situation, it's crucial to acknowledge the inherent risks of a novel, invasive procedure like this. In April 2021, they showcased a monkey named Pager playing a video game solely using his mind thanks to a wireless connection between his brain and a computer. The monkey achieved an 88% accuracy rate compared to an average person using a computer mouse. These feats in animal testing hint at the immense potential for human users. And while patients can improve their current situation, it's crucial to acknowledge the inherent risks of a novel, invasive procedure like this, revolutionizing brain-computer interfaces. And talking about the device, for a brain and a machine to interface, they must be able to communicate with one another. Researchers in the field have settled on spikes in neural activity, peaks in the electrical field created by an active neuron, as a common language, electrodes traditionally made of metal or silicon inserted near these neurons can pick up electrical activity and send that information to a computer. Its flexible polymer electrodes, which are less than the width of a human hair, show promise in their ability to be inserted safely into the brain with the help of the company's new neurosurgery robot, which can reportedly thread the electrodes between blood vessels safely. Unlike non-invasive BCIs that rely on electrode-studded headgear, Neuralink's N1 implant offers a fully implantable and nearly invisible solution. Its 1024 electrodes distributed across 64 threads provide an ultra-high bandwidth interface directly into the cerebral cortex. This level of connectivity promises to restore complex physical movements for individuals suffering from full-body paralysis. The role of advanced technology and robotics. Central to Neuralink's success is their advanced technology such as the N1 implant and the R1 surgical robot. The N1 implants, which is also used in dental implants, biocompatible enclosure ensures relatively impressive durability within the human body, while a wireless charging system ensures convenience. The flexibility of the implant's threads minimizes potential damage during the implantation process. 
The R1 robot, on the other hand, possesses a sophisticated targeting system, enabling precise and safe placement of the implant's threads. This precision is crucial given the brain's constant pulsations and the need to avoid blood vessels, financial backing, and ongoing recruitment. Ah, money matters. When it comes to financing, to support their ambitious goals and clinical trials, Neuralink secured $280 million in a recent venture capital round. This substantial funding coupled with the FDA approval positions Neuralink as a significant player in the field of BCIs. They are actively recruiting talent across various domains, emphasizing their commitment to engineering challenges related to restoring vision and mobility, future challenges and considerations. As Neuralink and similar companies advance in the development of BCIs, several challenges and ethical considerations emerge. These include the need for comprehensive regulation, equitable access to this transformative technology, and the potential for BCIs to enhance human capabilities as those in sci-fi movies, not just restore lost functions. Balancing commercial goals with broader societal impacts will be essential as this industry continues to grow, which seems to be inherent in Elon Musk's enterprises. To sum it up, Neuralink's journey to FDA approval and their pioneering work in brain-computer interfaces mark a significant step toward transforming the lives of individuals with neurological disorders. While exciting, the ethical and regulatory aspects of this promising technology must be carefully navigated to ensure it benefits humanity as a whole. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, share, and let us know in the comments what you think.